How's it going everybody? This is just a uh, general update slash, you know, just kind of for records, I guess, uh, video. I wanted to kind of do a, uh, just an update tour of the shop and what we got going on. It's kind of cool. So this is the front. Um, we took these two chairs um, that were kind of taking up space and they're a little hard to sit on. It's not something you, you we regularly sit on. But uh, out here, out front, we actually see a lot of people sitting in them. We don't see too many people sitting in these two, even though they are chairs. But I see a lot of people using those. And uh, this is our little, you know, someone just found this on the side of the road. So I put some of these succulents, because we just had them inside. So I was like, well, why not put them outside? They'll get a little bit more sun. And uh, we can put them out here. But uh, occasionally people have been stealing from it. And it's like, okay, yeah, you know, go figure. And... You know, none of this I would, I can, I'm too worried about getting stolen, but we did, uh, put some, uh, more measures <laughs> into making sure that people don't steal it. So I do have camera there, camera there, camera there, two up there, um, but, uh, and then, and then a couple other things. So I'll leave, I'll leave that for another video if it, if it happens or not. But, um, yeah, we've got these cool graphics on the screen, so Aaron got that perforated thing so we can kind of see through, but it's hard to see in. Right now, I've actually covered it in foam to kind of keep the heat from the window out, because the windows actually produce a whole lot of heat. Um, so, like, the sign helps a little bit, and then the, uh, the, the curtains that we did on the other side. And I installed this up here. It's kind of interesting, a, uh, an electric fan to help pull out, um, more, uh, what was it more air because it didn't feel like a lot of air was coming out of it so so that kind of helps 3d printed our <coughs> our uh, numbers there got a couple of different uh, stickers on the uh, on the door there and then because it gets really hot in here we have another AC so this is another 14,000 BTU AC and you know, saying it's about 73 in here, it actually feels pretty cool. It feels a little colder than 73, but because of the high ceiling, like up there at like 9, 10 feet, it might be 73, and where I am down here, it's like 69 or something. Uh, but, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's very early. I just felt like I was going to do this, so... so. Uh, just printed that. Unfortunately, it was too big for the printer and it kind of messed up. Um, this will be in part of an invention, which I'll uh, showcase in another video. If you've never seen one of these, it's called an Aero Garden. Um, it's kind of cool. It's a little hydroponic setup, so, so you have water in here and uh, it'll come out like this. And what else? Okay, so we got that. That really hadn't changed. You know, we got we got this. Oh, this is kind of interesting. So, if you haven't seen, like, the spare parts bin for a shop, <laughs> here's, like, how many different fans I have. A bunch of different PTFE tubes. Um, you know, sensors for the king rooms. Here is just my wiring, so all different 24 volt, 12 volt, you know, um, geez, lots of stuff. And then here's all my regular cables, and then more cables. Um, what was it? We got screens down there. Yeah, none of that stuff's interesting. So this side of the shop is the makerspace side, so the majority of these printers are the makerspace, so like these three guys, the makerspace owns, that's another Aero Garden, like a newer updated version, um, this one, this one is a makerspace members, so he brought his own printer up here, um, that one, yeah, the same member bought, and that one's mine, the tin log, and this Pro Mega, which I don't know what the heck I need to do with those two, I, the tin log works fine, I just don't hardly use it because it's kind of like a bulky printer for I mean it's not even that bulky it's just I don't have room for it now and I'll show you what I'm talking about um, we have this cool laser engraver uh, we have Garrett Morgan here uh, who blesses our laser engraver um, look up Garrett Morgan he was a, he was a great dude um, this is our snack tray area uh, we have you know another camera there and up there 
So I've got two systems, um, you know, to pr protect ourselves. Uh, but yeah, this is mostly snacks and, you know, we got our Wi-Fi and stuff. Two different computers here, which, would you believe that this is, like, a full-on i5, like, mini computer? Like, actually, I took the thing off so you can kind of see on the inside, but check that out. Like, that's full-on, you know, computer. Um, kind of neat. And then, you know, nice screen TV, which this is kind of cool, because it kind of moves out. So you can angle it all different kinds of ways. You know, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, shit, just smack. <laughs> Um, these are something I'm proud of, and I'm actually about to print the version 4, and we're going to redo all these. Uh, I think the middle one's actually good, and we don't have to redo that one, but we're definitely going to redo the pods, so stay tuned for a newer video on the new pods, and what makes them special, I'll kind of highlight that. Um, in the ceiling, I hung up these 3D printed horns, um, so that's pretty cool. And then, what was it? Oh, on this AC, if you're wondering, this is a hot side. So, uh, I've insulated it the best I can and not the most aesthetically pleasing way I could. You want to see some sketchy stuff? Look at this. This big, heavy metal heater is literally just attached to this piece of wood that's laying across this. Like, that piece of wood... We like, I've, I've shaken it before, it's not attached to anything, it's just gravity holding that thing up there, <laughs> like, we don't sit under that thing. <laughs> like one day that's gonna fall. Um, we have two lanterns hanging in the ceiling, and the uh, CR-10 Max, I think it is, or whatever this is. Um, it just stinks as a printer, that's why I stuck, stuck it up there. Uh, my battery's gonna die, so I gotta hurry up. Uh, this is our subwoofer box, this is pretty cool. Um, all right, on my side, so we're developing a new filament shelf, and I'm really excited about that and wanting to do that. Let me, let me, I tell you what, I think, yeah, plug my phone in for just a second because it's dying while I talk about this. So, <clears throat> this filament shelf is going to be pretty nice. I'm, I'm spending a lot of time thinking about it, and I've looked out there. And please, guys, if you're watching this, comment uh, below if you know of any. Uh, like, any company or, like, section of a company that focuses on different sized filament shelves. Like, I can find a company that might make one filament shelf. There's a few that make, yeah, you know, little storage bins that are, like, two or three. But, like, a shelf like this is kind of what I'm talking about. And, like, like I'm looking at... Like our small, like a smaller shelf being about six rolls, and then about twenty rolls, and then about forty rolls, and then we were looking at one that's about a hundred to two hundred rolls, that would be you know a little bit wider, a little bit bigger on some wheels and double stacked so that it could be moved around. I mean, we're talking about some nice ones here, um, that would be good for a company like like what me and and the guy that I'm working on it with uh, is doing, Mar Market Anova, and um, so this is going to be cool. But I haven't found any out there, so, so maybe we can be the, the first company that actually focuses on it. I've actually looked at already getting some domain names on uh, just filament shelf, <laughs> like, like 3D printer storage solutions, you, you, you know, is what, uh, is what we just snagged. So we'll see, we'll see how, how good this might work. But um, yeah, I definitely have enough filament. I mean, look at, <laughs> look, at, look at how much there is. Let me unplug here so yeah i got all this king rune sells filament and it's pretty decent um i like the california petg um this is my like amazon special uh yeah you know specialty filament or different filament i got and then all that is pretty much dragon print and then partial rolls we got the big printer here need to do some more videos on it the videos on the big printer actually get a whole lot of views surprisingly um these are the filament shelves, or the filament shelves, the king rune shelves, where, where we print pretty much everything on these king runes, and they stay running all the time. Um, what else? This is just like storage boxes, more storage boxes, t-shirts. Uh, we got t-shirts if you're interested in some of those. Um, this guy's pretty fun, but it is hard. Like, big printers have 
warping issues like like you wouldn't believe um, this will be put out back the big Q I really don't use too much the two sane smarts I use a lot um, I use the king runes a lot and I use the tin logs a lot um, I don't know why I don't use the big Q too much maybe just because it's over in the corner same with this one this custom build one I don't really even use that one that much even though it's a nice custom build um, I think it has a slight accuracy issue and I just had never had time to figure it out um, so it's a little cramped back here you know like I don't have a whole lot of room um, and two people work work back here my uh, Kristen and I and um, yeah it'd be nice to have more room like this is where I keep boxes empty spools and packing material someone just found these or someone was giving these out um, for free you just put them at the curb and they otherwise work fine so we, we snagged those one of the members did and brought them up here um, and what's kind of neat is I uh, what is this I'll show you this thing this is cool boom check out that 3d print nice yeah it looks real nice so with with being here at the makerspace, being able to, to run my business out of the makerspace, you, you know my tools are extended. So you, you know I get to use all of these and any projects that uh, I have. So this is you know this is way more extended than what my garage was at my house. Um, but we've got a lot of nice things here to to build stuff. You know it was literally this wood that I built that filament shelf out of, you know, you know, these aren't doing too much here, but he hopefully is going to do something and we got a server running for, I don't know why, um, electric bills high <laughs> and the owner's feeling the electric bill. Um, so we need to try to reduce it a little bit, but, um, yeah, let me grab my keys so I don't get locked out, but I wanted to show y'all the back of this place and what our kind of plan is for that too. Sorry. But yeah, it's neat. Quite often, I've been able to quote jobs that include welding, like where I would get, you know, some sheets of metal cut, and then I would just assemble it um, with a welder or whatever. But so this is our back. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess right now. We got some parts here that. Um, didn't this was this was a, a new vendor that I was using and they these particular batch from them didn't come out too good I mean some of the guys are literally melting it's kind of a weird effect I haven't seen on resin before but they're still quite sticky and they haven't cured in the light um, and from my understanding that can be dangerous so I'm probably gonna have to put these in like an alcohol wash or bath um, to get them safe but but uh, I don't know. I, th I, I <coughs> sorry. I think the printing and the curing process was done just a little off for what that filament needed. Um, so we got a bunch of kind of wood and trash out here in the moment. And that's because most of that came out of this. So this building or storage shed was here, um, you know, when we moved in, and it was just locked. But it's a part of our property, and someone had just left it locked. Um, so we, we had finally had permission to, to pop into it and it was just wood and some cinder blocks, um, in there and now a decent amount. Um, so I used the, the cinder block. <coughs> <coughs> Dang, excuse me. I, I should have taken a drink. I guess I have, uh, like a dry throat. I, I'm not sick or anything. Um, but anyways, made a nice little little garden area there so it's kind of cool and I want to build another one there but I figured there's a lot of uh, you know birds chirping and and ground doves and whatnot so I thought it would be cool if uh, maybe I hung up some bird feeders there and you know I was thinking about doing a pole bird feeder like up here so that they can kind of be hanging out all on top of that thing and that would be cool so We'll see what happens with that. I need to go grab some bird seed, but that one bird feeder's done, and uh, that'll be kind of cool to see how the birds react to it. And we're going to clean all this up and make it like a nice little hangout area 
And I'm going to try to deck the whole place out with neat 3D prints in different areas. But that's kind of the goal with the shop right now. Um, I won't make this video super long, me just rambling about stuff. But, uh, let's see. I've got to unlock this. But eventually, it would be really neat if I do stay here long term, if we could go up top. So there's some stairs right there. Let's see, we got cameras in different places. So I'm doing my best to try to keep the place secure. Um, but if we could use the roof so right now we're like sprinkling the roof and we have like tarps down to try to absorb the heat because the roof isn't very isn't very uh thick and it doesn't insulate well like when it's 105 outside the roof is 100 so we're doing what we can to evaporate if heat it and keep it cool in here that's why there's three acs there's there's one more in the back there um but yeah, this is the shop. This is kind of, and, and the front layout here, I had cleaned up some more. And we're going to clean up the back some more. That big thing's going to go up. Um, hopefully we can get the, this, this back room cleaned up. Uh, get rid of this engine, get rid of these two bikes. You know, have that hung up. Um, get rid of that thing over there. Pick up the wood, probably have all the wood outside. And, you know, move this toolbox somewhere useful. And we'll have like a really nice... You know, back shop room and front 3D print room. But I don't know. I just felt compelled to kind of show this and and, and see where we're at at this point in the company. I uh, I have high hopes. I got a couple of good jobs that, that look like are coming through, and and hopefully if they land, that might uh y you know really help me uh, help me out in the company and help the help the business to grow. Um, so we'll see about those two those two big jobs but uh thanks guys for watching and stay tuned i mean i'm literally just a dude <laughs> doing this trying to figure it out it's real it's unedited i don't have time to really uh edit things or uh learn how to edit i'd rather just pay someone who's a good editor um but i don't have one yet so you get what you got <laughs> have a good day guys and uh i really appreciate uh, your good comments and and all that like, share, subscribe, and, and, uh, and such. So, thanks.